Hello again everybody, this is Gusto. I have another review today. And today we will continue the three-part series on the French RCIR menu number nine, particularly the lunch portion. And here's what I've chosen for lunch. The main item will be the Creole pork with rice and pineapples. There is a tin of dried dates, box of biscuits, and we'll try the saltine and chocolate today. Here's an electrolyte beverage green tea, a peach apricot energy bar, and a fruit nougat. To rewarm the main item, I'm going to use the Espit stove, and that comes with several items in the box. Right. There are six fuel tablets. the stove itself, a handle for the hot tin, it fits on there just like that so you can lift it without touching the hot tin, matches, and a spork. There you go. It also comes with some water purification tablets and a garbage bag. And to assemble the stove you simply bend everything toward the middle. It makes a little tray that the item will go on top of. and has feet to set on the ground and then your fuel tablet goes right there. So let's go get this thing heating up. So since lighting this stove indoors would result in my immediate murder, I've decided to go ahead and cook this thing outside. And it's a little bit too windy to use the matches, so I have to use a little bit bigger flame. So here's the fuel tablet. Set it right inside the stove. That should do just fine. Okay. Go ahead and open the main item. There, that looks pretty good. Some rice, kind of an oily sauce, lots of uh, vegetables in there. See some zucchini, some red pepper. Smells a little on the spicy side, that's good. We'll set that on there, let it heat up. We'll be back in a few minutes. And while that's cooking, let's get everything else onto the tray. Start with the biscuits again. This comes in a three variety pack, all individually wrapped. We tried the multigrain one, so let's have the saltine and a chocolate biscuit. Next we have a tin of dried dates. Alright, there you have it. There is a peach apricot energy bar. Kind of looks like a nougat. A little bit more crumbly, not quite as sticky as a nougat. And we also have a fruit nougat. You'll see the difference between the two. There you go. This is very sticky. It's a lot softer. It bends instead of breaks. And you can see the fruit bits in there. I've had this in a couple of different rations. I had this in uh, the Dutch ration and the British ration that I recently reviewed, and it was very good. So I'm excited about trying this again. Yeah, we also have beverages. First, we'll do the isotonic sports drink. Kind of a white powder. It smells pretty acidic. Fill it up with water. And we'll give it a stir. Next we have green tea.
and that has a very strong green tea scent. It's uh, pretty potent. Get some hot water in there. We'll let it do its thing for a few minutes. Let's go check on our entree. That's heating up quite nicely. I gave that a quick mix and we'll give it just a couple more minutes. It smells great. The uh, label shows Creole pork and pineapples, but it actually kind of has a curry scent to it. All right, so that has heated up quite well. Let's get it inside. We we'll use a little tool to grab onto the can there. We'll take it in. All right, let me get you a close up. There it is, the main item, which is the pork with rice and pineapples. And you see big chunks of pork, lots of vegetables. That looks like zucchini, some red peppers. Uh, can't find any pieces. Oh, there's a piece of pineapple. So uh, the rice looks nice. The texture seems to have uh, held up. It smells great. Like I said, uh, it says Creole on the package, but it smells more like curry. That may be the influence of the pineapple. But we'll give it a taste and see. So let's start with the main item. Try to get a good piece of pork there, uh, some pineapple and rice, some of the vegetables. And that looks pretty good. And that is actually very, very good. Uh, the flavor, uh, as the scent suggested, is more of a curry type flavor, but it's very good. The pineapple doesn't add a ton of flavor. I may try to get a little bit more of that in the next bite. Yeah, actually, that's very, very good. That's probably one of my favorite ration entrees that I've had so far. Very good balance of flavor. The spices are not overwhelming. You can actually taste the vegetables in there. The pork is good chunks of real meat, and uh, that's, that's very nice. Let's try some of these crackers. These are the saltines. There you go. And... Just like the wheat crackers, these are very thick, very tough, and uh, crispy. There's not a lot of salt on them, actually. They look more like a butter cracker. Give it a taste. Yeah, that's really good. It's a very hard cracker, very dense, and has a nice salty, buttery flavor to it. Next, let's try the dates. And these things are huge out of the can. They're uh, quite sticky. Smell nice. Yeah, those are really tasty. Very, very sweet, but nice and soft. Good texture as far as dates go. Haven't had a ton of those, but, uh, but they're good. Let's try the fruit energy bar. Again, this is apricot and peach. And it's kind of crumbly. I thought it'd be more nougaty. Kind of looked like a nougat, but uh, crumbles apart pretty easily. And it's got a really interesting texture. It's kind of airy and has a little crispiness to it, actually. And that may be like some crispy rice or something like that in there. But the fruit flavor is uh, easily distinguishable. Mostly peach rather than apricot. That's pretty tasty. Let's try our beverages. Start with the isotonic drink. This is going to be a little bit strong because I didn't quite get 500 milliliters of water in there. Right, that's interesting. It's uh, saltier than sweet. It's actually bland and kind of has a salty flavor to it. Can't really pick out a specific flavoring. The package kind of indicated that it was citrus, but I can't pick that out. Next, we'll try the tea. There you go. Nice light green tea. Strong scent to it. Yeah, it's very good. Now for our sweet stuff. Let's try the chocolate biscuits next. There you go. You see little chocolate bits in there. These almost have more of a cookie appearance. And that's exactly what that is. That's a, it's like a really thin, crispy chocolate chip cookie. It's very, very good. And the nougat bar. It's stuck to the plate. Sticky white nougat with a lot of the dried fruits in it. 
and that is really, really good. Even though it's mostly sugar, doesn't really taste as like sugar sweet as much as it is kind of a, a honey-like sweetness. The fruits in there, that you, you can pick those out individually. It looks like some dried apricots and raisins and things like that. It has a very, very good flavor. That's very delightful. I think I might try some of the main item on one of these crackers. Seems like it would go well together. Put some of that on there. There you go. Let's try that. Yeah, that's really good. <clears throat> you have the, the excellent uh, flavor of the main pairs really well with the salty, buttery flavor of the cracker. That's really, really good. So there you have it. That was part two of the RCIR menu number nine. This was the lunch portion, and it featured the pork with rice and pineapples. Very, very good entree. Probably one of my favorite ones that I've tried so far. So this ration's turning out to be quite delightful to sample. I'm enjoying it very, very much. So, uh... Part 3 will be coming up pretty soon. Stay tuned for that. Again, to the viewers and subscribers, thank you very, very much for your support. And as always, to the Ration Review community on YouTube and on MREinfo.com, thank you very, very much for your continued support. So until next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.